This is Monsoon Awareness Week in New Mexico. Today's topic is thunderstorm winds and specifically the impacts of microbursts. We are joined by Leah Robertson, who is not only a Skywarn spotter, but an accomplished storm photographer who has captured award-winning pictures of thunderstorms throughout New Mexico. I've been doing it since about 2008 uh, when I moved back here from Kansas and I noticed that just the amazing New Mexico sky and how important it was to just show other people that are not from the state what the storms particularly look like during the summer months. Leah shares her experiences with downburst winds. On that day, it started off as the sky had a lot of um, high mammatus and a lot of just virga in general. And I happened to notice off to myself that it looked like there was a fire or something happening in downtown mm -hmm. Albuquerque. And as I was looking more closely, I noticed that the, the eddies were forming these curls. And that's when I realized that there was a, a dry microburst right there. Mm -hmm. And as I watched it unfold, I documented all of it and you could see the cone of where the, the Virga was and you can see where the winds had spread out and formed these, these eddies and lots of dust within that area. Downburst winds are a common byproduct of thunderstorms that affect New Mexico during the summer monsoon and are extremely hazardous. They, along with flash floods, are the two thunderstorm related weather hazards most likely to produce property damage. A downburst is a non-rotating wind that is created by a column of sinking air in a thunderstorm that, after hitting ground level, spreads out in all directions and is capable of producing damaging straight line winds of over 100 miles per hour. These winds can often produce damage similar to, but not distinguishable from that caused by tornadoes. There are times, especially out in, in the southwest, where the air is just too dry but yet you will still get a little bit moisture above. So you have this column of cold air that rushes down to the ground, and once it rushes out, it spreads out, and that's why you'll see these curls or these eddies form, and uh, that's what you would have as a dry microburst. The physical properties of a downburst are completely different from those of a tornado. Often the damage is very localized, or in some cases, can be widespread. When the rain descends from a thunderstorm, evaporated cooling and drag act to strengthen the downward velocity of the downdraft. At times, the precipitation will evaporate prior to reaching the ground. Once the accelerating air reaches the ground, it will spread laterally, often with a vortex or curl on the lead edge. I was actually driving back from Texas and I noticed that there was a storm developing off from my northwest and it just gradually started developing more and more. It was a marginal severe weather kind of day and um, I noticed that the storm as it was intensifying was starting to produce this area known as a rain foot. And as the winds started gushing down, they were spreading out, forming these little eddies, and it was quite the sight to see, so I took uh, several photos of that, which lasted about 15 minutes. Downburst winds in New Mexico can often result in strong surface winds that produce areas of blowing dust. In addition to wind damage, downburst winds can produce local dust storms that can reduce visibilities to near zero in less than a minute. 